At the end of Fashion Revolution Week, a week dedicated to bringing awareness to sustainable and ethical fashion, the Canvas Brooklyn was home to a slow fashion show. The show featured designs from Matter Prince, Tribe Alive, and Liz Alig. My brand is um, a sustainable line of clothing, and I design with recycled and handwoven fabrics, and then produce the clothes with fair trade workshops around the world. So, like little women's cooperatives, and then smaller fair trade spaces. Liz Alig was founded in the summer of 2009 with a collection of just a few dresses. After Liz took an interest in who was actually making her clothes, a common origin story for many people now involved in slow fashion. For me, I mean, I've been honestly like interested in fashion for as long as I can remember. And when I started school, I kind of realized how kind of how terrible the industry is, honestly. The fashion industry is one of the leading environmental polluters in the world, accounting for 92 million tons of textile waste in 2015. There are some misconceptions about what makes a brand more sustainable but many sustainable fashion lines can be classified as having more transparency, traceability, and accountability of the materials they produce. The more I'm in it, the more I realize, like, the more complicated it is than we realize. Um, but I just think that if a company is more mindful about, like, treating their employees well and, um, like, what kind of fabrics they use, obviously natural fabrics, um, those kinds of things make up sustainable, I guess. Though it's growing in popularity, sustainable fashion is still working past old misconceptions. One of the common misconceptions that I also had was that the clothes are pretty basic or maybe they're kind of hippie and they, you know, they're not exciting, they're not really fashionable. Um, but I, you know, my own research I found that to definitely not be the case. Um, and then there are a lot of misconceptions on the flip side of brands that may be claiming to do more than they're actually doing. As of June 2018, 94 companies, or 12.5% of the global fashion market, have committed to making their brand more sustainable. But for now, fast fashion is still a major player in the industry. It's like the behavior of consumption can be sustainable too. It's not only about like buying something that is organic, which is obviously the best thing you can do but it's also about like not buying things or treating the things that you do buy with care. There are multiple ways you can add more sustainability to your closet without even changing what you buy. Simply washing your clothes in cold water instead of hot water will lengthen the lifespan of your garment. Reporting on Sustainable Fashion, I'm Bria Ellis.